so imagine if we are given a distance time graph and if the graph has a straight line to find the velocity we have to just find a distance at a certain time interval and divide distance by time we will easily get the velocity but uh, imagine if that uh, this was not a straight line but a curve like this for example a function f of s is equal to x square so if the x is 1 then y is also 1 if x is 2 then y is 4 so if we are given this function how do we find the slope as we can see the slope is different at different points at 1 the slope is different than at 2 it, it has it is a higher slope so how do we find the slope at this one or two point so to do that we we are taking a trick uh, using a trick and that is uh, we will find the slope of this line okay here you can see we are finding the slope of this second from these points Okay, uh, what are these points? These points, uh, let us take these points to be this is x, y, and this point to be x plus delta x, y plus delta y. So, this is delta x, and this height is delta y. Uh, we can we, we know that delta y by delta y by delta x, this is the slope, as you can see from this graph. This is uh, we can see that this is delta y this is delta x so the slope of this red line is delta y by delta x but we are not finding the slope of the red line we are finding the slope of the curve at the point one at the point one we have to find this slope so to find the slope we first we will first find the slope of this red line and make this delta x smaller and smaller and until this red line the slope of this red line becomes the slope of this blue line only uh, we only have to make the delta x smaller and smaller so we have to take the limit so the slope is uh, limit of uh, delta y by delta x as delta x approaches zero so what is delta y by delta x Del y plus uh, y plus delta y minus y this is delta y by delta x we have to find this uh, we are given a function what is the function f of y is equal to f of x so y plus delta y will be as you could have guessed y plus delta y by is f of x plus delta x so put that put these values put these values in this equation and we will find that this is the slope is the delta y by delta x is f of x plus delta x minus f of minus f of x okay by delta x we put it like that and this is the slope of the second uh, to find the slope of the point uh, we have to apply a limit so this is the final result to demonstrate it uh, I have I will show an example let the function b x square so if we apply this to it f of x is equal to x square also f of x plus delta x is equal to x plus delta x all square so the slope is as we have find f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta y which is x naught x plus delta x uh, i will show you from a 
from this perspective okay so this is s plus delta x all square minus x square by delta x which is equal to as we will if we expand this we can get the result 2x delta x plus delta x square by delta x the x square here and here will cancel out so we will get this result and if we cancel out the delta x from numerator and denominator we will get 2x plus delta x as delta x is set to 0 this result becomes 2x and as you may be you may know now the derivative of the of the function x square is 2x